All right, guys, so this week, Fuji X-T3 firmware was updated to 2.0. Now, my original video, it said that the four gig limit was removed, but I read it wrong, got too excited. The four gig limit will be removed in January 2019. So right now, I'm just gonna go over some of the things that I noticed right away and some of the things that I like about the new firmware for the Fuji X-T3. Immediately, I noticed they changed the way you would shoot to F-Log. The way you would choose how to shoot an F-Log was changed. That's sh I'm showing you that right now. And additionally, hybrid log gamma was added in this firmware 2.0. Just a side note, if you are shooting hybrid log gamma, your minimum ISO is 1000. So make sure to bring ND filters, especially if you're shooting outdoors because ISO 1000 is pretty bright for video. So the last thing and the thing that I actually really like about this new firmware update is the way they let you preview Rec. 709 when shooting F-Log. What I mean is before, for me to shoot F-Log, for me to gauge my exposure and focus, I would have to switch to a photo mode so I would get in Rec. 709 contrast. But now, if you shoot an F-Log, you can see Rec. 709. But as soon as you press record on the camera, it switches to F-Log, which is pretty sweet. That means that you don't have to look at F-Log to gauge your exposure and focus. All right, so the additional thing I added here is an updated version of my, my Fuji X-T3 in Pocket 4K rolling shutter test. Uh, my previous test was jacked up for some reason, so right now I did a quick test indoors because it's raining outside. So hopefully this will answer your question as far as rolling shutter between these two cameras. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys later.